Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic, and it's going to be Mr. Magoo, or Mr. Mago, or M Mago, or Magoo, Mogo, Mag Magoo, <laughs> Mag Mag Magoo, I, I have no fucking idea how the hell you pronounce this. Mr. Mago? Is that right? Mr. Magoo? I have no idea how to pronounce this movie title. Um... But, uh, yeah, I've never heard of this movie, and I don't think I'm ever going to be able to fucking pronounce the movie title. So, hopefully Nostalgia Critic will pronounce it correctly for us. And, uh, let's check out the video, shall we? Let's go. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Magoo. Yeah, remember it, so you don't have to. Remember Magoo. when I said I didn't like the Flintstones cartoon? Oh, yeah. Flintstones Obviously cartoon was awesome. Well, there's another classic old cartoon that I also find I really can't stand. Well, Mr. Magoo. Ah, Mr. Magoo, okay. Obviously now it's big at Backlash. Mr. Magoo. He never did anything for me because it's basically just one joke. He can't see. The How's rest of the time he just sort of smiles and looks happy, so there's no real comedic suffering on his part. Or even really that much to the people around him. He falls, he misses something, <laughs> but he's always okay. Where's the comedy? How does that get a laugh? <laughs> The only thing less funny than Mr. <laughs> Magoo is giving him a ridiculous film budget to explain how unfunny he is. Ah! Oh boy. If you can't see what's wrong with this flick, then you're as nearsighted as this dumbass idea. You know was the that term, if it's not broken, don't <laughs> fix it? Well, there was a term in the 90s that went, if it's broken, Disney's found a screenplay. This was during their especially bad run of horrible live-action movies. And trust me when I say this is certainly the topping flag of shit. Uh, it was an age where ideas oh to make boy. movies out of was at an all-time low. I see low. some great well, comedies here. Low. Let's stumble into Mr. Magoo. Wow, the first second, literally the first second of this film annoys me. Ah, there's only 5,492 to go. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. Winterbottom. Ugliest hairdo I've ever seen. I guess it figures that we start off on the cartoon during the credits, but honestly, it's kind of distracting that while Leslie Nielsen stars as Magoo in the movie, yeah, he doesn't damn. do his voice in the credits. I know it's a nitpick, but it just sort of emphasizes the direct side-by-side -side comparison of how much these two don't have in common. It's like if in a Popeye movie they start with a cartoon and the original voice, but then suddenly cut to someone completely different. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. Yo. Oh, dad. <laughs> We do finally get the live-action version starring the late Leslie Nielsen, who's apparently a rich canned vegetable entrepreneur, god, there's so many, who donated a museum wing to a rare ruby. It's exquisite. No, actually it's Corundo. What the hell was up with that hat? The hell is that woman wearing? Reminds looks like a steering wheel. Who gives in this movie? The hat <laughs> looks like a cartoon iris that got stuck halfway through. <laughs> it's sort of more like a steering wheel. Yeah, what the fuck sauce? <laughs> we see Magoo look around the museum while... Oh, uh, oh he got something for something else. Well, let's hope that joke doesn't get old real quick. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Come on. And no, your eyes aren't as bad as his. That is, in fact, Jennifer Gardner. Jeez. Free career, obviously. I am Stacy Semphina Hoditra. This is my nephew, Waldo. <laughs> Waldo Magoo. It is an honor. Oh, God, what ethnicity do they have for mocking? With the vague accent, the weird hair, that Chinese Cracker Jack sailor suit. It's like the Quizak Hatterack of stereotypes. It insults all races at once. <laughs> May all of the exhibits in this hall shine with the light of human knowledge. <laughs> well, that's not really knowledgeable, then. I wouldn't bagsy on human knowledge much. <laughs> <laughs> what is this of hot shots? <laughs> and a dozen people were in critical condition. Charming eye joke has dark consequences. Public telephone. Oh, oh excuse me, sir. He confuses a mummy's tomb for a telephone booth, and the door closes in behind him. Later that night, we see a children's <laughs> stage play version of Catwoman and Bane trying Ooh. to break into the museum to steal the ruby. Luckily, she finds some Pee Wee's Playhouse dinosaurs to hide behind as she moves forward with the robbery. 
by the way, you no, ever notice how funny. bad movies have really poorly designed museums? Mm. Batman and Robin also have the same rare jewel slash dinosaur slash Egyptian art slash exotic plant life exhibit. A mm. little cluttered, don't you think? Look who finally comes out of the tomb. Wait, he was in that wait, box wait. with the mummy for five hours? Yeah, he was There's talking no to the mummy for five hours. That's a mental psychosis. Mm. And the robbers get away by knocking the guard into the phony styrofoam exhibit. Okay. The next day, we see that Garner is so distressed that she put on her distraught Tylenol hat, and investigators come mm. to look at the scene. Howdy, from Ghostbusters. FBI. Gustav Anders. CIA. Ernie, no. <laughs> God damn it, I'm sick of you showing up in shit! You're good He's in a lot of movies, ain't he? Please tell me you're doing stage work somewhere. I'll gladly see it just to apologize for the fact that you're in this dick demon. <laughs> the CIA has no jurisdiction on American soil. This could very well become an international... God, there's quite a lot of known know actors in this. I f I'm sort of familiar with all these actors. Oh, no. No, no, no. You did not just... Mm, Ernie Hudson! <laughs> okay, you say that for a Chris Tucker, not an Ernie Hudson! Mm. Mm. Ernie, get up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we see the two robbers talk about last night's heist. There's nothing in the papers. It's a trap. They're trying to lull us into a false sense of security and then bust us when we make a careless move. That's yesterday's paper. Yes. Oh. That's right, uh. folks. You just witnessed a film where they actually played the wah wah wah. <sighs> Little known fact, the composer actually killed himself three minutes later after being forced to write that piece. I bet. She gets I hope that's not true. Sure. <laughs> I hope that's just him a joke. Boat, mm. But he tries to take her down with him, and the jewel falls into Magoo's boat. Of course. Who just happened to be passing by. Of Guy course. Guy is like an unfunny duo seeking missile. Blast your foot at Jabbit, you! They hope they can get back at the opera that night, where Magoo is not only attending, but also... Performing? Whoa. Yeah, a little confusing seeing how we've never seen him sing and it's never explained whether or not he can sing. In fact, according Ooh. to this movie, Mr. Magoo is well rounded enough to be put in any situation at any location except what he actually does for a living. <laughs> yeah, his job allows him to do all this richy stuff, but we're never actually allowed to see what he does. <laughs> He's said to be the canned vegetable king. Wouldn't it make sense to have him in a canned vegetable factory then? There's got to be some comedic opportunities there. But no, <laughs> fuck it, we got a castrated episode of Ice Spy to watch. <laughs> oh, You're spotted by a white male. Dirty clothes, needs haircut. Where? Look to your left. Uh... Oh, snap! You just got HUD! <laughs> Lady Thief disguises herself and tries to get an interview with him while the male thief is a little bit more direct. Mm. I just don't get this. I mean, it's just... Just showing the audience what that does? Okay. <laughs> but he can't get past his Loki horns and... Big shot. Loki he gets knocked out. Which causes him to accidentally turn on a giant fan. Of course it does. <laughs> The opera performance needs with the sensitivity of the singer's voices is a giant, loud, hard-to-control wind machine! Why don't all opera houses have this? The next day, he meets up with the thief, still thinking she's a reporter, and she tries to put the moves on him. True, Nella. Uh, 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 you know, yeah. this film is so dull and useless, I'm actually more interested in the backstory of the fish. Did <laughs> he have a good life? Do you think his family appreciates what the sacrificing of his body is going to? Well, did you see what they did with Howard's body? Yes, yes I did. Please tell me he's at least being used to feed a poor starving family. No, he's... <sighs> He's being used for a live-action version of Mr. Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> Warner Brothers or Disney? <laughs> Disney. <laughs> yeah, that's we pretty bad. We also get a info about that thief as well. It's Luanne Lesur, the Black Widow. She kills all of her male accomplices. No one has ever been able to finger her. What a shame. They finger. They finger her? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. Uh... You like that, Paul? You like that? You like that, Paul? Yeah. That that finger joke was awkward. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with a Miss Penelope Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad 
ass music right there. <laughs> hmm. hey, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest has been in such movies as Vanilla Sky, Pirates of the Caribbean, on Stranger Tides. What the fuck am I doing? Back to the movie. <laughs> yeah, back to the fucking like movie. Nephew is getting Just with get through this. Takes her out to get her dressed as. Whoa! What the fuck is this? Your government thinks Mr. Magoo stole the Star of Kuristan. And you? Okay. Do you think he did it? Waldo, I need your help. Every time I see her, I'm insulted. I just don't mm. know who I'm insulted for. What's that country Balkia was from? <laughs> Meepos? Yeah, I'm insulted for Meepos. Finally, no. an ethnicity I can identify oh, as being defaced. <laughs> Just throw Jeff Dunham or Carlos Mencia in there, and the trio of unfunny bad taste will be complete. So while everyone tries to break into his house and find the ruby, Magoo tries his best to rip off the Mr. Bean cooking scene. Okay. So the, the talkie on our head scene. Yeah, how long till he switches to the porno channel? Next, I want you to put your big long cock inside me. Well, oh, okay, fuck, no. Insist. No, don't. Don't do that with your chicken or turkeys. This is not funny. Do you think the chicken had a good life? Do you think his family appreciates what his body is being used for? Yeah, this is just... Did you find just... Daniel's body? Yes. So, are they putting him to good use? Well... You see Disney. No! <laughs> the male thief grabs the jewel and drives of off, leaving the rest of them to drive a giant eggplant. I, I. Eggplant, a giant eggplant. <laughs> Just go with it. Yeah, what the, the fuck? giant eggplant. No, you didn't smoke anything, because that would mean I would have had to have smoked it too. This is the closest connection to his job that we ever get. Apparently, it's part of an eggplant delivery service. What? Well, no wonder he's Who so buys eggplant? Rich. With fucking ingenious ideas like that, I'm surprised Steve Jobs never picked this guy up. Eggplant delivery service, the fucking inspired. <laughs> I haven't been this impressed with an idea since a patient at the mental ward asked me if I wanted to buy a cloud. <laughs> I never knew eggplant was that away, but the popular to be delivered. That she's but, okay. working for the FBI, and that she knows that the jewel's going to be auctioned off by a crime lord. Hmm. Every billionaire gangster in the world is coming. Billionaire yeah. gangster. There's <laughs> not really a lot of billionaires in the world. No one's ever seen him. He never goes anywhere. So if we could get someone to impersonate Peru, we could get close to the gem and recover it. But who? Well, gee, why not the blind man who's proven time and time again that he's a constant threat to anything and anyone he comes across? <laughs> Yeah, I'm down with this. Mr. Peru never goes anywhere. That's right. I never go anywhere. So when <laughs> I go somewhere, everyone thinks I am nowhere when I'm really there. So they're under the impression that mobster billionaires are bad Guido Sarducci impersonators? <laughs> I don't get it. a saint into the Catholic Church, you have to have four miracles. I understand that two of them was card tricks. <laughs> and now we take a look at just who's yeah, running this. Is... So, oh, Malcolm McDowell. This is Oh this god. Is yeah, I know. Just He's in Star Trek. From the milk bar <laughs> when you've changed your clothes, these lovely ladies are waiting to serve you with chill champagne in the solarium. Thank you. Oh boy. Yeah. Ugh. Apparently there was another scene in that woman's ass. Do we really hey, have to see that? the rest of this movie came out of someone's behind. I believe it. Every time I kill a man to his portrait on my body. I bet Peru's got some pretty nice tattoos. So Magoo takes the time to draw a tattoo real quick of... Okay, Joke, you have to be more clear if we're not going to laugh at you. We can't make out what that is. Yeah, is it a uh, drawing of the Alamo? I have no idea. A spaceship? An explosion of pubic hair? <laughs> okay, movie, you're forcing me to look really close at wrinkly Leslie Nielsen chest. Not cool. Yeah, not that's cool. not we're cool. We're not on good terms right now. <laughs> But the female thief comes in and steals it for herself. Yeah. Oh good, the nephew will stop her. <laughs> good job there. Wow. That was a fake she crappy window. This woman's wardrobe. A Power Ranger uniform has more dignity than that. <laughs> sure. This is like a microwave meal. <laughs> They have a little chase down the mountain in the middle of the women's snowboarding competition because yeah, I guess Disney finds it funnier when women are hurt. But she ends up getting <laughs> oh away boy. while the rest are left cold. 
Oh, come on. That's silly. Oh, come on. That joke's been used so many times. The of mask. Course. The mask is that. <laughs> I was frozen today. Hey, there we go. <laughs> And, if you can believe it, the film is still going. Really? I mean, you snuck into the hideout, you had the big chase. Uh... What's your motivation behind making more of this film? Do you think it's just punishment from the director? Like every time his kids act up, he'd say, Knock it off, or I'm adding another minute to Mr. Magoo. <laughs> no! They find the thief in yet another disguise and try to figure out where she's heading to. Uh -huh. This receipt is for Brazil. Why would she go to Brazil? She's going to Peru. She'd go to Brazil to go to Peru? Exactly. But why? To get more for the ruby. Peru? Exactly. But then why go to Brazil? Oh, Peru. come on. In Brazil. Not this Peru chalice in Brazil. the palace Just and the palace in the chalice there! scene. Yeah, I'll put you on the fucking plane myself. <laughs> yeah. No! So they finally get to the damn place where yet another crime lord looks to possess the ruby. Do you have the 15 million? He's from uh, Hot Shots Deluxe, I believe, or something like that. Hot Shots. Hiding something movie. in that suit, I couldn't tell. Can't remember his name. Well, that's going name. on. Magoo seems to come across the little people in bad costumes part of the house. <laughs> bit of trivia: Before Game of Thrones, this was actually Peter Dinklage's most famous role. <laughs> he accidentally sneaks into the room of the bride who's about to get married, and yeah, you can all guess where this is going. He's also from RoboCop, I think. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh no! I've never loved you. That's John messed up. Kane just bust my wedding. <laughs> John McCain. He escapes on a raft, but wouldn't you know it, it's just about to go over a waterfall. How of the course, hell is it he is. gonna get out of this? What? No. I was promised an old man in a wedding dress going over a waterfall. This opportunity will never happen again. You deliver! No, that's just They get the jewel bullshit. back, and if you and the stereotype get together, we cut back to the shitty cartoon this was based off of, and mm. get a load of this. We get a disclaimer at the end saying that the film was never meant to insult anyone with poor eyesight. <laughs> wow. Of all, if you're going to apologize to anyone, well, you just called brain damage. You now have to cut their dicks off in order to feel something. Second, if you're going to say something to the visually impaired, don't write it in tiny lettering that they probably can't read! Yeah. Mr. Magoo what the, the cartoon fuck? isn't funny, Mr. Magoo the movie isn't funny, Mr. Magoo is not funny! No, this it's was bad. It's slapstick with a shoddy script and characters that aren't even attempted to be made interesting. Once in a while there's a good stunt, but when you put a painfully obnoxious cartoon sound effect over it, it loses all comedic value. Yeah. I wish I was as blind as a bat, so I wouldn't have to see this stupid ass piece of shit. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna do the worst thing I can think of. Bludgeon an old blind man to death. Oh, I'm damn. a nostalgia critic, I remember it so you don't have to. It's time for another day of doing nothing canned at the vegetable canned factory. vegetable factory. All right, you old oh. bastard, you're gonna pay for that movie. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Oh, it looks like the Nostro critic. Hey, <laughs> Nostro. Oh, no. Didn't think I could see, did you? I'm just playing it up for the handicap sticker in my car. <laughs> I can see everything. Perfect 2020 vision. <laughs> oh, Dad. see the blood as it spurts out your nose. <laughs> ah, start to critic so delicious, fast. Delicious, <laughs> yummy blood. Yeah. Most people don't know that I'm actually quite a psychopath. They call me crazy, Mr. Nostro Critic. But would a crazy man strangle an orphan girl because he thinks she's queen of the moon people? Yes! Yes, he would. This is uh, fucked up. Uh, it's a pitchfork with your ass's name on it. Oh. Here, let me give it back to you. Ah, Ooh! You like that? Damn. <laughs> no one has ever been able to finger her. No one has ever been able to figure. Oh God! Oh Jesus Christ! Never say that again. Um, yeah, uh, I, I like the ending when Nostalgia Critic was role playing with the old guy. <laughs> okay, well, Nostalgia Critic was getting the beaten, but still, um, yeah, that was totally awesome. Uh, but as for the movie, Mister Magoo or Mister Magoo, whatever the hell you pronounce it, um, yeah, um, you know what? I'm ashamed to admit this to you guys, but you know what? I think I might give this one a watch. 
Um, not that I am, but if I had the choice to watch it, if it was available on Amazon Prime or Netflix or something like that, I would watch it. Um, just for the sake of, uh, uh, what was it, um, uh, who, who's the actor, uh, Leslie Nelson or something like that, that comedy guy, I can't remember, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the names, um, but, uh, yeah, just the fact that he's in it, I would give it a watch, because he was, um, in a lot of movies, and he's a great comedy guy, and I just absolutely love his work, even though I love his work and can't remember his name. I've probably pronounced his name wrong or said it completely wrong, so I do apologize if I've butchered his memory. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, I, I like the guy. I, I love his comedy style, and you know what? I, I think I could watch this, even though this is a terrible movie. I think... I, I'm not saying this is a good movie. I think I say... I, I could watch it, as long as he... Uh, Sort sort of was funny if he really delivered, but not sort of one hundred percent comedy. I mean, uh, yeah, it's really difficult because it is a bad movie, and yeah, it, it is a stinker. But you know what? If you know it's a bad movie and you're gonna watch it knowing it's a bad movie, then what harm can it do? Oh God, <laughs> I can think of a lot of times I've said that. A lot of times, bad movies I've watched. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I could watch this honestly. To be honest with you guys. I don't think I could say, oh, it's the worst, it's terrible. I think I could give it a try because you can't take it serious. And if you can't take it serious, then I think it can get a free sort of pass, even though it's terrible. Um, but I, I would give it a shot. I would give it a watch before I would uh, give it a, you know, a sort of a wrecking. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like. Comment down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>